this video we will discuss the problem Tom and Jerry. The problem previously has been asked in Flipkart. The problem says that Tom and Jerry being bored in this pandemic decide to play a game. So given an integer n on each player's turn, that player makes a move by subtracting n from one of its divisor such that that particular divisor is lesser than n and then a new number is formed and from that new number again the same process is repeated and the player who cannot make the move will lose the game. So let us try and understand this problem clearly. So let's suppose we have n and n is given as 6. So for 6 what are the divisors of 6? We have several divisors for 6 that is 1, 2, 3 and 6. Now what we are said is like from this given number 6 we can try to subtract it from its divisors. So can we subtract it from 1 or 2 or 3 or 6? No, we cannot do all this. Like we have to subtract it with one of its divisors. So either that divisor can be 1, it can be 2, it can be 3, but it cannot be the number itself. So we can divide, uh, like we can subtract the given number n by any of its uh, divisors except itself, right? So we can subtract n like 6 with 1, we can subtract 6 with 2, we can subtract 6 with 3. Any of these things we can do. So basically what we can say is that from the given number n, we can subtract it with its divisor, right? So after that what will happen when you subtract it with uh, with the divisor of n, which is lesser than, which is obviously going to be lesser than n. In that case, we'll get a new number, let's say x. So this is the first chance that Tom will play. Then what will happen? Jerry will come and then n, uh, like from this number x, Jerry will again do the subtraction part. So after that what will happen? Divisor of x will be chosen such that that particular divisor is lesser than x then we will get a new number y again alternatively the turns will change so what will happen now tom will come and from this y tom will try to subtract the divisor uh, of y such that that particular divisor is lesser than y and we will get a new number z and from this new number z again let's say jerry let's say jerry will come so after that let's say we do not like let's say z is equal to 1 here right let's suppose so if z is equal to 1 suppose suppose that z was 1 so from 1 can we subtract anything because for 1 the only uh, divisor that 1 has is 1 itself and it the problem says that we cannot subtract any number with the with itself like we have to subtract uh, uh, a given number from any of its divisors such that the divisor is lesser than it, it should it should not be equal so if a 1 subtracted with 1 is not possible here because 1 has only divisor and that is 1 and we cannot subtract a particular number with itself that is the constraint here because we have to subtract it with a divisor that is lesser than it. So in that case, this from here we cannot make any move and in that case, the player with uh, this given value 1 will lose. Okay. So now let's try and understand this with the help of other examples. Now let's say that if n was given as 1. Okay. And let's suppose, let, let's suppose Tom is starting the game. So always you can understand that in this problem, Tom is going to begin the game. You can see that the game begins with Tom playing the first move. So the first move of the game is played by Tom and after that both of the players will take the turns alternatively and both will try to win and you have to return 1 if Tom will win otherwise you have to return 0. So if the first player making the move wins then you have to return a 1 indicating a true otherwise you have to return 0 that is false. Okay. So Tom begins. So now when n is equal to 1 can any move be made? No. So in that case what will happen? Tom will lose. Okay. So you can understand that for n is equal to 1 Tom is losing. Right, then let's see for n is equal to 2. For n is equal to 2, what can happen? I have 2, then Tom is starting to play. Then 2 minus 1 will be what? 1, because uh, the divisors of 2 is 1 and 2. So I'll subtract it with 1. Then I'll get what? I'll get 1. After that, Jerry's turn will come. But then Jerry has only 1. And when Jerry gets 1, then Jerry has to lose. So n is equal to 2, then Jerry, uh, then what happens? Tom wins. Right, you can say that Jerry loses. That means Tom wins. After that, when n is equal to 3, then what will happen? So when n is equal to 3, then 3 minus 1 if I do, like this is when Tom is playing. So 3 minus 1 will be what? 3 minus 1 because 3 has only 2 divisors, that is 1 and 3. So I have to subtract it with 1. So I'll get 2. Then what will happen? Jerry will get what? Jerry will get uh, 2. Then 2 minus 1 when Jerry does. So it become, we get 1. Then Tom's turn comes. And then Tom, what, Tom, Tom does what? Tom has only 1. So Tom cannot do anything. So that means Tom loses. So when n is equal to 3, then Tom loses. Right. After this, let's say when n is equal to 4, then what will happen? So when n is equal to 4 here, you can understand that when n is equal to 4, in that case, like first of all, uh, Tom will start. So 4, let's say 4 is, uh, Tom is having 4, then he'll subtract 1. Then what will he get? 
uh, like we will get 3 then Jerry will start so Jerry will have 3 so from 3 he has no choice but to subtract 1 only then 3 minus 1 will be what it will be 2 then Tom will get 2 so 2 minus 1 will be what 1 then Jerry will get 1 so Jerry will lose so we can understand that Tom uh, like for n is equal to 4 we can say that Tom wins okay now if you will try to do it for several numbers we have tried to do it from n is equal to 1 2 3 uh, 4 optimally we have tried to do it so you can observe one thing that when the n value is uh, odd then tom is going to lose otherwise when the n value is even then tom is going to win right but can we can we uh, derive this can we try to have a particular observation yes we can have this observation so what basically we can try to do is like if we try to see so what is tom always trying to do can i say that tom will always try to give jerry an odd number tom will always try to give jerry an odd number now why will tom try to give jerry always an odd number because if you will see if suppose that we talk about odd numbers so odd numbers has odd divisor only odd number has only odd divisor so when we have a odd number and when we subtract it with an odd divisor then what will we get we will simply get an even number so that means what will happen when like jerry whenever jerry will have an odd number suppose that a particular person let's say jerry has odd number then whenever we you have odd numbers then you have only odd divisors so when you subtract odd number with odd divisor that is basically subtracting odd number with odd number itself uh, then you will get even number that means tom will try to get even numbers right that means indirectly tom will try to get even numbers right that is what we are trying to do so basically tom will try to get even numbers such that jerry will jerry, jerry will always end up lying on the odd numbers right such that jerry will try to, like jerry will get only odd numbers tom will try to build a strategy such that jerry gets odd number because when jerry gets odd number then jerry will subtract that particular odd number with odd divisor then then tom will get what tom will get again even number after that when tom gets even number then even number has a speciality that even number has even as well as odd divisors so tom will try to do what since tom wants jerry to have an uh, odd number like even number always has odd as well as even divisors right so when tom gets this even number then tom will try to do what tom will try to subtract this part that particular even number with an odd divisor so when tom will try to subtract that even number with a uh, odd divisor then jerry will get what jerry will again get odd number only right and then again jerry will have to return tom an even number so basically tom will try to do what tom will always try to have even numbers with itself and jerry will or uh, jerry in that case jerry will always get odd numbers optimally thinking like that is what tom will try to do for winning okay now in this case what will happen is if we follow this kind of iteration then jerry will be getting the odd numbers and what is the last number that jerry will get Jer the last number that jerry will get is one and the person who is getting one you can see that will lose so that is why when jerry will get one then jerry will not be able to make any move and jerry will lose right that is the concept behind this particular problem so whenever like if it happens see if it happens that tom gets an even number right so whenever if it happens if tom gets an even number in that case what will happen to, like even number has both even and odd devices so what will happen tom will do what tom will say that okay even number minus a particular because even number has both even and odd devices okay so tom will try it like you can say that odd divisor can be one itself right so even number minus the odd divisor when tom will try to do this so what will we get we'll get odd number so that means what will happen jerry will get odd number now when jerry will get odd number so in that case jerry will try to subtract this with odd divisor only because jerry will have only odd divisor so when jerry has odd divisor only in that case what will happen the number that we will get resultant is even number and then tom will get this particular even number so you can see that always tom will be getting the e if tom starts with an even number then tom will always get like tom will try to build situation in such a way that tom will give jerry always an odd number and jerry will have to return an even number to tom so in that case what will happen jerry will always end up getting odd numbers and in the end what will happen jerry will get the odd number one and whenever jerry will get the odd number one in that case jerry will not be able to make the move and we can simply say that tom will win 
or you can say that jerry will lose right that is what the scenario is developed here so whenever tom will get odd uh, like even number he will try to give jerry an odd number now let's see the other scenario because both the players are going to win uh, playing to playing for winning right that is what you also try to do in your life so when, suppose that uh, what happens whenever like if tom gets an odd number right if tom gets an odd number in that case the situation will be like in that case what will happen karma will uh, take place right because you can see when tom gets an odd number so when tom gets an odd number in that case what happens so when tom gets an odd number let's say tom is starting and tom gets an odd number so you can, you can understand that when when tom got even number then tom will win that is for sure because tom will always give odd numbers to uh, to jerry and in the end the last odd number that jerry will have will, will is one and jerry will not be able to make any move and jerry will lose but what if tom gets even number in that case tom will lose why because when tom gets an odd number like uh, when tom gets an odd number in that case what will happen that particular odd number will have only odd divisors so when i subtract odd number with odd divisor right in that case what will we get we will get nothing but even number and now this even number will be uh, given to which person even number will be given to jerry so jerry will get this even number and when jerry gets this even number as you know even number has both even and odd sub uh, odd divisors so jerry will tr uh, try to subtract this with odd divisor and when jerry subtracts this number this given even number with odd then in that case what will be the resultant number the resultant number will be odd because even minus odd is nothing but odd number in that case what will happen again tom will get odd number right so you can see that this cycle is kept on repeating like tom if tom starts with an odd number then jerry will get even number and when jerry will get an even number then jerry will make sure that tom always gets an odd number and when tom keeps on getting the odd numbers in that case what will happen at one point of time tom will get odd number which is equal to 1 which is 1 itself and when tom will get 1 in that case tom will not be able to make any move and tom will lose and jerry will win so basically we can understand that if if it happens that n uh, mod 2 is equal equal to 1 right uh, if it's uh, if it's let's say 0 so if it is 0 so if it is even if n is even then we can say that tom wins right else we can say that tom will lose that is the scenario here if then if tom starts with an uh, even number then as i have already simulated that tom is going to win otherwise tom is going to lose so in that case we'll return one if he wins otherwise we'll return zero that okay the tom does not win so that is what we should do that is an order of one operation so we can simply say that if n uh, modulo 2 if it's equal equal to uh, zero so in that case we can simply say that tom will win and we can simply return a one else uh, if the number is uh, uh, not even if it is odd in that case we can return zero indicating that uh, the player that will be winning will be uh, Jerry. So Tom will lose. So let's try and compile this code as well to see if it works or not. You can see it works on the samples. So let's try and submit it. So you can see that our solution gets accepted. Now, talking about the time complexity. So since we are just using if condition to check and we are not using any extra loop or anything, so the time complexity is order of one. The space complexity is order of one as well because we are not using any extra space as well. Not uh, So if you understood this particular problem, Make sure to uh, hit the like button, comment down understood as well after you have watched this video and make sure to subscribe the channel. Thank you.